In a previous segment, we have learned about the quantity of molar mass. In this segment, we will be talking about another mass-related quantity. It is the mass percentage. What is the mass percentage? It is a measure of the contribution of an element to the total of a compound. For instance, the contribution, the mass percentage of carbon to a certain compound is the mass of carbon in that compound, in one mole of the compound, over the mass of one mole of the compound. That ratio times 100% is the mass percentage of carbon in this compound. So what the mass percentage is, is a way to express the relative amounts of elements in a compound. Now the best way to learn about this is to do a couple of examples. Let's start with the following. This is the glucose molecule. The glucose molecule is an organic molecule. It contains three elements, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. I can now determine the mass percentages of each of these elements. The first step I like to take is to calculate the molar mass of glucose. I know that one mole of glucose contains six moles of carbon. So six times 12, the molar mass of carbon, gives me a total of approximately 72 grams. So 72 grams is the contribution of carbon to one mole of the compound. There are 12 hydrogens in glucose. That means one mole of glucose has 12 mole of hydrogen. 12 times one, the molar mass of hydrogen, gives me a total of approximately 12 grams of hydrogen. So hydrogen contributes 12 grams to one mole of the compound. Finally, there are six oxygen atoms in a glucose molecule. That means one mole of glucose has six moles of oxygen. Six times the molar mass of oxygen gives me a total of 96 grams of oxygen. Adding these up gives me the molar mass of glucose, which is 180.156 grams, or rounded 180.16 grams. Now, knowing the molar mass, I can now calculate the mass percentages of all the elements. Let's start with carbon. Carbon contributed 72 grams to the total, the total of one mole of the compound. One mole of the compound is 180.16 grams. Dividing 72 by 180 and multiplying that with 100% gives me 40%. So carbon contributes 40% to the total mass of the compound. Hydrogen, we found, there's 12 gram of it in one mole of the compound. One mole of the compound was 180.16 grams. Divide that by each other, times 100, gives me a total of 6.7%. 6.7% is the contribution of hydrogen to the total mass of the compound. For oxygen, we found 96 grams for one mole of the compound. Divide that by the molar mass times 100 and we find the percentage of oxygen in this compound. It contributes 53% by mass. Now, there's a quick check to find out if we did the calculation correctly. We can add up all these percentages and they should add up to 100%. Let's check that. In this case, it's, it looks pretty good. Let's look at another example. Let's look at this molecule. This is apibetadine. Apibetadine is a molecule that can be found on the skin of some South American frogs. It's a poisonous substance. The molecular formula of apibetadine is C11H13, one chlorine, and two nitrogens. Based on this molecular formula, I should be able to determine the mass percentages of each of the elements. The first step is to calculate the molar mass. I know I have 11 moles of carbon per one mole of the compound. That means 11 times the molar mass of carbon, which gives me a total of 132 grams. That's the contribution of carbon to one mole of the compound. I have 13 moles of hydrogen per one mole of the compound. 13 times the molar mass of hydrogen gives me a total of about 13 grams of hydrogen. That's the contribution of hydrogen. There's only one chlorine atom Per molecule. That means if I, if I have one mole of the compound, I have one mole of chlorine. One mole of chlorine contributes 35.45 grams. 
And then finally, there are two nitrogen atoms in the molecule. That means one mole of the molecule is two moles of nitrogen. Two times the molar mass of nitrogen is 28 grams, approximately. Adding up all these numbers gives me a total of 208.68 grams. That's the molar mass of AP betadine. Knowing the molar mass of the compound allows us to calculate the mass percentages of each of the elements. Let's start with carbon. We saw that carbon contributed a total of 132 grams to one mole of the compound. And we also know that one mole of the compound is 208.68 grams. So taking that ratio times 100 gives us 63% of carbon. So carbon contributes 63% by mass. For hydrogen, we found a total of 13 grams, approximately 13 grams. If we divide that by the molar mass of the compound, times 100, we find the contribution of carbon in percentage, 6.3%, approximately. For chlorine, we found a contribution of 35.45 grams. If we divide that by the molar mass of the compound, times 100, we find a total of approximately 17%. And then finally, for nitrogen, we found a contribution of approximately 28 grams divided by the molar mass times 100% is a total of 13.4%. Now, let's do a quick check to see if we did this calculation correctly. They should add up to 100%. Let's do that, and indeed, we find 100%. Seems to be correct. 